uh, Paul Stump, head coach of the uh, Santa Barbara Gachos, advancing to the final for the second year in a row. You win here at Northridge, two to one. Talk about the game and, and uh, your feelings throughout. Well, uh, well, let's start with the first half. I was I was a bit surprised at, at how we didn't look very comfortable. I mean, it's, it's playoff soccer, and uh, you know, with all the experience we had last year, I thought we would be a little bit more calm, a little more composed, and I thought maybe we would we'd be a little tighter with our touches, a little better with our possession. Just wasn't the case, unfortunately. We made a couple of changes. Uh, we put some more experienced players in, like Sarah Stoltz, who I think settled us down. Second half, second half, much better for us. I felt like from the word go, um, we were in their end a little bit more. Um, had a couple more looks at the goal, I think. And then finally, 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 Jackie Simon, junior captain, you know, finally sticks one in the corner, and we go up one nothing. Second goal comes shortly after, and we think it's over. Uh, they change our system, we change our system, match it, and within three minutes, here we go. Now our hearts are pounding again because it's two to one. Uh, in the end, in the end, uh, we have a lot to learn from. We're going to go back, we're going to look at the film, we're going to find out how to kill a game, uh, some of the decisions make, decision making there, decision making there um, and, and see if we can learn from it. So if we are up a goal or two goals with ten minutes to go, we don't have to spend the last six minutes with our hearts in our in our throat. So uh, I'm very excited for the team, very excited for our, our program, and uh, you know we'll find out a little bit later tonight whether we get to host uh, Sunday or if we're back on the road up to Cal Poly. And uh, this being your second year straight in the tournament, um, I'd imagine you feel like your your team should have experience, and, um, and and what does it say for the program of Santa Barbara to have that experience two years in a row? I, I think it's great. You know, I, I think I think there definitely is something to the experience factor. Um, Cal Poly is a uh, you know Cal Poly's a team that's been in and out. You know, they've been in and out of the NCAA's. They've been in and out of that conference tournament, um, and they've won you know five straight games all by shutout. So no matter what's co no matter if they if it's them, they're going to have some confidence now. Uh, UC Irvine, same thing. Now they have they've been in and out of the conference tournament a little bit less, uh, but I think they they beat us pretty good at their place 3-0. So my guess is if, if it's us against them, they're probably gonna have a little confidence as well, especially knocking off Cal Poly at their place. So, you know, who knows? Right now I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to get my heart rate down a little bit. Um, I, I would like to take my hats off specifically to, to Keith and Juan over there at Northridge, who've just done a great job with this program. Their kids battle, they never give up. Uh, ten minutes to go, with a two-goal deficit, they're they're still pressing and fighting and working. So I, I think a lot of credit goes to the staff and the players in the Northridge program. I, I have a lot of respect for what they've done. They came second in the conference. That's saying something right there. So, and I think they started off 0-2. So I think they reeled off five or six straight wins. So uh, I, I think um, uh, I think they should be very proud of, of what they've done. Okay, Paul Stump. We'll see you on uh, Sunday for the Big West Championship. Great. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.